Horizontal directional drilling has been around long enough now, it's easy to forget what an advanced and sophisticated technique it is. Growing confidence in the technology has seen drilling jobs get bigger and more ambitious. Handling the biggest drill jobs demands the right capability and the capacity to match. Direct Hit Trenchless is successfully delivering end-to-end -end services across the full range of horizontal directional drilling jobs on major civil engineering projects across the country. And there are good reasons for its success, not the least of which is strength in planning. Every one of these jobs, a loft or one before you step foot on site. You've got to get together with the engineers, find out what they want, okay, and, and you, you, you basically your curvatures, your pipe, and you've got to do everything before you get here. At any job, you take on planning. Number one, you got to plan it. You have to go look at the job, you plan it, you see uh, all the obstacles, you see uh, soil samples, if, you have, if they're attainable, you take that. Uh, then you take into effect line of sight and, and pipe size. You adjust your radius to curves to account for that. Mud, I mean, you got to figure out what kind of mud, what tooling. Direct Hit Trenchless handles all types of substrate from solid rock to shifting sand and everything in between. And it's not always predictable. No matter how good the geological survey and other planning, you've got to be prepared for the unexpected. It's not uncommon to go through several types of substrate on a single drill. It's meter by meter and it really is. You could hit anything out there. You encounter anything underground. You cannot see it. So. Uh, but when you do, you should have a backup plan, a contingency plan. On any job, Direct Hit Trenchless has the appropriate equipment on hand to manage all eventualities, to instantly vary its drilling technique as the substrate changes. It's the only way to avoid delays and maintain schedules on complex projects with tight deadlines. Of course, time and money are not the only considerations on engineering projects. Directional drilling is often used to avoid the type of environmental damage or disruption caused by conventional open cut excavation. Just looking around us here, we have a lot of environmental issues here. Now this job we find pretty challenging, we've got to address everything environmentally. Even where we are right now, as you can see, we've exited into parts of the shrubbery and we're going to have to protect these before we can proceed further. But yeah, no, working in this sort of environment, it's tough, but that's what we do right. But drilling itself, handled badly, can introduce new risks. A major aspect of all drilling operations is the use of drilling fluid, or mud, often in large quantities. Mud is 95% of every job. If you didn't have bentonites, you wouldn't be able to drill. Okay, what we, what we do is, is basically solely because of bentonites and other drilling fluids, additive. They serve three purposes. Okay, one is to, to lubricate the hole. Okay, the second one to carry all the cuttings out of the hole. Okay, and then the third one is to form a barrier to stop our fluid from getting into the formation. Cleaning the drilling fluid for reuse is now recognised as a vital step, not only in reducing project costs, but also in minimising risk to the environment. And we can take a really nice ground and, and absolutely stuff it up by putting water in it and turning it into mud. So what we're trying to do with the mud is build a filter cake around the wall then pull everything that we cut up in that hole, we then suspend it and bring it straight back out the hole and then we've got to clean it. Once we get it out we've got to clean the fluid, send the bentonite back down the hole again okay, and take all the cuttings and solids and rocks and sand and everything out of it and off we go. Okay. Direct Hit Trenchless has invested heavily in the best technology to achieve this, removing cuttings in a sufficiently dry form, allowing easy, efficient and clean disposal as landfill and reusing the drilling fluid many times over as the job progresses. We class to be one of the best recovery systems in the world, okay? Now the reason we believe it's the best is because it, it brings off an extremely dry end, which is what we want. Instead of having wet muds and slurry, which in an environment like this would just be running down the beach, we'd have to contain them. Now here we have, we have something which just comes off in a nice dry solid form, sits exactly where we want it to sit and we can move it to wherever we want it. Uh, and, and that's half the reason we're on this job is because we have the right cleaning equipment. At the end of the job, disposing of the drilling fluid components themselves can be time consuming and costly. That's where an effective remediation system is needed. 
To separate water from the drilling fluid so the water is safe for reuse or environmental discharge and to concentrate the remnant mud components for disposal. This is our environmental unit, okay? And what this one is for, this is for remediation, okay? So now we're coming in and we're planning to remediate as much of this side as we possibly can with it, okay? We won't get all of it, but we can get most probably 95% of it remediated so the water will become reusable and then the solids will become exactly that solid. Okay, and then what's left over, which will most probably be down to about 5%, that'll just get trucked off. With many years of operation across a wide variety of drilling projects, Direct Hit Trenchless matches its full range of drilling and cleaning equipment with a highly experienced team of people, together with a rigorous on-site management procedure. And you have to have a tight crew the whole way. Everyone well trained, everyone watching everybody's back, everyone knowing their job, and without that, one man cannot do this, there's no way. You have mud men, you have floor hands, you have people on pipe side doing their jobs. Everyone has to talk, everyone's in communication with each other constantly, and it doesn't work otherwise. Once the drill starts turning, the head driller is managing everything. He's monitoring what the telemetry is telling him. Position, direction, pressure and torque. He's constantly feeling the substrate he's moving through maintaining his curvature to suit the size and material of the pipe, adjusting his drilling fluid to match conditions below ground. It's his experience and know-how that not only ensures the success of the job, but also ensures safety. Safety for the environment and safety for every person on the site. This rig's a 170 ton rig, which equates to about 370,000 pounds of pullback and, and push has about 55,000 pounds of rotary torque on it. Drilling is more finesse than it is power, and everyone gets this wrong. They think that the more power you have, the more bully you can get with these drills. You can't, you have to respect every piece of pipe that you pull through this ground. That means you keep your radiuses straight, uh, you, you stay on the number spot on all the way across, and you ream your hole out and you watch your cuttings. Everything that comes out of that hole, you watch and you keep a memory of everything there. Transforming a challenging project into a successful outcome is not a simple task. It demands a full range of the best equipment and materials, thoroughly experienced people, total care for the environment, a strong commitment to worker safety, and a track record of excellent results. The outstanding reputation of Direct Hit Trenchless is built on this firm foundation. That's why Direct Hit Trenchless is the first choice of major civil engineering companies and authorities for handling any job of any size anywhere in Australia.